So the Biomimicry Institute is looking at this from a very different perspective of like, what are we leaving on the table? Well, we're leaving decomposition on the table. Like nobody has been talking about the one thing that's been working for the rest of the planet. We look beyond the delusion of marketing, trendy language, glossy photos, Instagram influencers. We see that the commodities of fashion are still based on exploitation. We want to really redefine or add to circularity, right? I think today decomposition is missing from this narrative. Um, the system is broken and we need to find a way to redefine value so that it can be fixed. Um, and decomposition allows for that. This is why this initiative is so important because we are really using physical pilots as a way to like demonstrate decomposition technologies, but also look at the surrounding context for each of these technologies. It's really not only about the technology in isolation, but also in what sort of system is it fitting within and the enabling conditions to not only operating that technology, but also scaling it as well. Because if it can work there, it can work anywhere. Um, 15 million garments coming in every week is no joke. And if we're able to actually show that decomposition is a valuable exercise, that the people there can gain value from it, um, while they are engaging with these technologies, um, you know, embracing entrepreneurship, for instance, in this distributed decentralized model to actually own and operate these technologies um, and really take ownership of that supply chain. One of the things that we learn through the existing decentralized informal economy is the idea of cooperation. You know, not everyone can do everything. What, you know, what's the economic argument for decomposition? Well, what's the economic argument for what we're doing right now? How are we valuing this waste? What is value? How are we going to, what, how do we define it even? And I think it actually goes beyond economic value. We really have to, the, the need is so urgent that we have to think beyond economic value. We have to think about the value for the biosphere, the value for the environment. But I really believe that nature holds the answers and we just haven't learned how to learn. I honestly believe that there that there is a there's a lens here, there's a language here right outside our window. And this is that's the only real challenge in front of us is learning how to decipher it.